Good day once again everyone. This will be the part 3 of our lesson 1 in operating system fundamentals. So, mobile operating system. Smartphones and some tablets use mobile operating systems. Mobile operating systems are optimized for touch screen technology, small screen size, fast file transfer, and accessing cellular networks. Even though they run on small devices, and are streamlined so that they do not use excessive battery power or system resources. They can accomplish an amazing array of tasks including phone calling, video calling, streaming, audio and video, internet browsing, texting, connecting to Wi-Fi, and pairing with Bluetooth devices. And some of the most widely installed mobile operating systems are Android, iOS, and Windows 10 Mobile and BlackBerry 10. Of course, Android is from Google. Okay? The iOS is known from iPhone OS. The Windows 10 Mobile, formerly called Windows Phone. And uh, of course, BlackBerry and this close of, uh, source and propi proprietary. <coughs> Touchscreen navigation on mobile OS. So various phones in mobile operating system recognize specific action and gesture for navigating and performing tasks on a touchscreen. Generally, you can use the following motion and gesture to interact with a smartphone or tablet. Okay, so we have tap, touch, swipe, drag, pinch, and spread. <coughs> Power on or off. To turn on a smartphone or tablet, Press and hold the power button until the device starts up. On most phones, the power key is also the lock key, and you can press it to lock the device. <coughs> For lock screen, uh, mobile operating system on the smartphones and tablet typically use a gesture-based lock screen. A lock screen on mobile device is similar to the lock screen in Windows. And this is screen display until the user performs the required gesture or enter the correct information, similar, of course, to entering your user pa account password in Windows. <coughs> so, of course, in lock screen, we have swipe. Okay? Unlock the phone by swi uh, swiping the screen. This option provides no security, of course. Pattern, you create a pattern by dragging your finger across a grid of dots and you enter that pattern to unlock the phone. Pin, of course, set and enter a pers interpersonal identification number. Then, password, you create password for unlocking the screen. Fingerprint, you can use fingerprint recognition to unlock the screen. And, of course, none. You can set your phone to never use a lock screen. <coughs> If you choose one of the sec uh, secure lock screen option, you can also spe specify whether to show or hide content and notification on the lock screen. It is always a good practice, take note, to lock your phone. Smartphones often contain a lot of private information such as account numbers and electronic ID cards and, new and more. Locking the phone can help prevent illicit use even if your phone is stolen. So the home screen is shown in, of course, uh, as what we have here, this is an example of a home screen. So the home screen shown in the, pre uh, p uh, the preceding figure includes the following features, okay? notification icons, status icons, status bar, app shortcuts, app folders, widget, home screen indicator, dock, and app screen. <coughs> the mobile setting app So the setting app provides access to basic device setting For a small phone or tablet In most mobile operating system, the icon for the setting app is a gear Or set of gears Tap the setting app icon to display the main setting page Which allow you to configure several elements of the phone hardware and operating system The arrangement of the setting may differ from one mobile operating system to another But the most part, you will find setting that affect 
So, you notice that these are the same type of setting that you can configure in a desktop operating system. <coughs> the virtual personal assistant. <coughs> Actually, many mobile operating systems include virtual personal assistant, which are voice-activated services that use a natural language using interface to answer questions. Uh, make recommendations and perform actions by delegating requests to a set of web services. You speak natural language voice requests and commands in order to operate your smartphone and its application. So, for example, you can say, okay, Google, show me some maps of Mesa, Arizona. Or you can say, Siri, remind me to take the turkey out of the freezer tonight at 8 p.m. So, in order for the virtual assistant to work, they need access to items such as your location, contacts, voice input, browser history, search history, calendar details, information from text messages, and email messages, and so on. The first time you launch the assistant, you will be prompted to allow access. Note that most of these functions and services require a connection to either a Wi-Fi or a cellular network. So, this will be the popular assistant include Siri from Apple, Google Now from Android, Cortana from Windows, BlackBerry Assistant from BlackBerry. <coughs> the operating systems update. So, operating systems are routinely updated for the purpose of increasing security, fixing bugs, and adapting to new hardware and technology standards. So, Updates, uh, updates can be released in various forms. So, include patches. No? A patch is a file programming code that is inserted into an existing program to fix a known problem or bug. Updates. An update is a file or collection of software tools that resolve security issues and improve performance. And service packs. A service pack is a collection of updates that is typically released after enough updates have accumulated to warrant the release. Microsoft provides updates for the Windows operating system and web browser through a service called Windows Updates. The updates can be downloaded from the Windows Update website. Apple provides updates in the Mac App Store and on the Apple Support download site. <coughs> Actually, uh, there are different types uh, kinds of updates. Sometimes security updates or critical updates protect against security, vulnerabilities, and viruses and spyware. Other updates correct errors that are not related to security or they enhance functionality and improve performance, most commonly. <coughs> so, automatic updating. Okay, uh, the Windows Update website was first made live when Windows 95 was launched and user would check the website and manually download and install updates. Since that time, Microsoft has continually made the update process more streamlined and automated. <coughs> Actually, in Windows 7, 8, and 8.1, Windows Update is a service that continuously checks for updates automatically. And user can configure the service to run in one of three ways. No? You can uh, automatically check for and install the latest updates. Or you can also set Windows Update to check for and download updates and then alert you that updates you are ready to be installed. And you can even set it not to check for updates at all because users can also manually check for available updates at any time. <clears throat> so we have update categories. We have important, recommended, and optional. Windows 7 and 8 users op open configure their systems to automatically install critical na, updates and then decide whether to install feature updates on a case-to-case -case basis. <coughs> so, in Windows 10, of course, Windows Update automatically downloads and installs the latest updates, drivers, and patches released by Microsoft. Of course. Manually checking for updates. Microsoft releases important updates every second Tuesday once per month. Per month, updates can be released at any time. You can manually check for and for and install these updates by opening the setting up and clicking 
update and security. Because Windows Update is the first tab in the update and security windows. <coughs> so, of course, the current uh, status of the system is shown in the right pane. In the preceding figure, the current status is your device is up to date. Uh, notice that the message also shows when Windows Update last check for available updates. So, you just click check for updates to have Windows Update check for. Download and install any available updates. <coughs> How about updating a mobile device? <coughs> Benefits and drawbacks of update, uh, automatic updating. Okay, keeping your system update ensures that you have the latest security schemes and technologies as well as the latest features. However, not all updates are necessary, and at times, update can cause unexpected conflicts and even failures. This is especially true in workplace or school setting when computer system must open interact with old hardware or old application. <coughs> When uh, mobile phone manufacturers create updates for their devices, they decide when those updates will be pushed out to their customer base. Users will see a notification on their devices that an update is available and ready to be installed. So you can also check manually for updates. So to look for updates for your Android phone, of course, you need to connect to Wi-Fi. Tap the settings. Then, tap system updates. Tap check for new system updates. For the iPhone, connect to Wi-Fi. Tap settings, general, software updates. Tap download and install. So, this will be the references. But prior to that, we need to take note that it is always a good idea to back up your personal data before installing an update. You will learn how to back up your mobile data in the upcoming lesson. So, so, what will be the summary of this lesson? Okay, uh, You learn about the features and functions of modern operating system. And you also learn how to start the computer and how to access various features of the operating system. Thank you very much. It ends our lesson one, operating system fundamentals.